Yes, people, welcome back to the channel. And uh, in today's video, we got the second episode of the Audi S3 project that we've got in here. And uh, let me just clue you in what we've done so far. So in the previous video, as you've seen, we put already the low pressure fuel pump and the vein pump. Uh, then we replaced again the turbo, put back the intercooler, put everything back in place and new uh, door mirrors as well. And uh, we had a mechanic that came to check the start motor for us with a fuse that we don't have and um, told us that the start motor is basically fucked and it's gone so we might need to replace the start motor so we're on our way now right so we're here in Oldham in uh, my good mate VW uh, Audi Group Breaker which is about uh, 2.5 litre RS3 engine Golf R we're just gonna go head inside about the start motor that we're gonna buy for the Audi yes Lewis what you saying bro you're right about that this is a fucking paradise for bad people we just got there uh, so whatever you need for a 2 litre TFSI, especially in VAG cars, he's your man, he's got everything, literally everything from seats to engine, engine wires, wheels, tyres, everything, he's got literally everything. So now we're just here up for the starter motor for the Audi S3, we're going to go back to the unit now, fit it back on and hopefully we're going to get it started. So, Lewis, my man. Yeah. Thank you so much for you. Yeah. Right, let's go. There's not charging. You're just doing it. So, you should have a day or two for that. Only buy it, only buy it, man. What? This is a brand new battery then, yeah? So it is better. So we're getting, guys, a start motor and a battery for all together for 45 quid. Like, literally, if you are in Manchester and you are local, this is your guy talking about VWs and uh, two litre engines and everything. He is your guy for everything. So 20 quid for the battery only, yeah? And 20, 25 quid for the start motor. That's a fucking bargain. And I'm not talking about YouTube, yeah? This is for everyone. It's not only for me. Brian, you as well. All right, let's go, my guy, yeah? Reminds me a lot of my golf. But there is a slight difference with my golf. So let me just clue you in about this golf fire, yeah? There is something special about it. Stock at the moment, so what they pushing? 400? 400? On a stock car? Go on, give us some reps. <laughs> Fucking hell, bro. 10 o'clock, we bought a scrum. Show us what you got. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? You ready to start it up? Yeah. Let's go, bro. Guys, as you already uh, can see here, we, we've got the S3 ready and the new start motor and the new battery. Uh, we're just gonna unplug the battery now. We'll, we already unplugged the battery. We're gonna put the new battery in, actually, put the start motor first and then the battery. And then we're ready for our second test. And hopefully, the car will start running and then we can fit everything back in together. So let's go. And uh, also, before we called the mobile mechanic in here, who came down with a proper diagnostic to diagnose the car, we thought we can actually delete the clutch switch on the vehicle, but that was not the issue. As we checked with every fuse of the vehicle and everything was working, and um, we seen that he tried to work out his magic with the sparks, and that's the video that he did. As you can see, the car wouldn't start up, so. He said to us that the start motor is issue, so we took this out, so fuck that. I'm not gonna do it because I want my glove. So fuck that, and then uh, off with the old one, in with the new one, let's go now. Right, so as you can see guys, we connected the new battery, and uh, of course it's dead, so we bring the, the ultimate daily, as we've seen from the last video. Plugged it in with the jump cables, and now it's the second try. Everything is connected, the new start motor is on, so it should start. So let's go in three, two, one. Yeah. Fuck it, that's a gas in 
Right, so we let the battery charge, so we're ready for the fourth test now, and hopefully now it's not gonna work, it's gonna work, so three, two, one. Okay, so we went outside and we rented a battery from the Audi A3 that we had outside for sale. So we just fitted the new battery, again, another battery, and um, we're gonna give it another try. I think this is the sixth, sixth time we gave it a try now. This battery is fully working. I mean, the A3 just goes quick. Zone is on there. So let's go. Three, two, one. the car will do that is because the turbo is completely gone as you can see in here the smoke that comes out can you focus in here please yeah so the smoke that comes out over there it's completely gone the oil should be in there already and there is no water in the car as well but i don't think that will use much that much uh, but we got some good news and some bad news the good news the very good news is that the engine is fully working like the actual engine is working so that's very good the bad news is that we are a long way before we get the car ready for the road, so we have a lot of things. We need, we definitely need a new turbo. So I'm not sure if we're gonna go for the K4 or a hybrid one, but we definitely need a new turbo. I hope we don't need new injectors. Uh, we might need new spark plugs, and uh, we definitely need to put everything back in. So. Right, so it's a couple of days after uh, from what you guys seen, obviously a couple of seconds for you, but doesn't really matter. And we just went to Wolverhampton and picked up a brand new uh, K04, which came off a Seat Leon Cupra R, which is a CDL motor, so it's a 10 2 K04. As you can see, it's pretty much ready. Everything is fitted back on, and uh, we just need to take off the old K04 turbo, fit it back in, put everything back on together, and then give it a little start, and hopefully it will stay on to do cold start and let it warm up, see if we get any over heat or anything. Uh, we're just gonna go now to do a car parts to buy some gaskets that we need, and uh, yeah, let's go, we're on our way. Right, as I said before, we just uh, picked up the turbo gasket, filled up the C350, which is available, TK car sales for sale, and uh, now we're ready to go back to the S1. But we just uh, got out the old turbo, uh, which is this one, the original issue was uh, the actuator of the turbo, uh, time is a bit late, so what we're going to do now is we're going to have some food, as you can see already my partner here, on his way to paradise. Uh, I'm going to have some food and then we're going to put the new turbo, which is here, brand new turbo. Uh, we're going to fit it in, put everything back on together, start the car up. Right, so another day in the office, on our way to go to uh, Eurocar Park in Trafford, pick up the turbo manifold gasket that we're missing, because <clears throat> they didn't have it in stock yesterday when we went in, so we missed another day. Now it's, I think, the fourth day of the project car, and um, yeah. Right, so as we can see, we just got the uh, new gasket, and uh, it costed us seven pounds and nine p so right now i'm just gonna <clears throat> go again through what we've done from the previous video what else have we bought so we bought a new starter motor and a new battery from uh, vw uh, now the group breaker in manchester if, if you're not if you haven't checked him out yet please check him out on his instagram and page and everything you will find any bug parts that you want in manchester locally and he's a great guy great communication and everything so we bought a um, new starter motor for 25 pounds, new battery for 25 pounds. We bought a new turbo K04 for uh, 300 quid. We bought an oil returning gasket for 0.5p. I know it's gonna sound crazy, but we just count everything because we wanna see at the end if the project car was worth it. And we bought the uh, intric manifold for seven pounds and nine p as well. So I think all this adds up, I don't know, uh, 500 quid, something like that. I didn't, I didn't do any calculation. And thank you. Thanks very much to my editor that said I need to go back to school and fuck you. So we just picked up some new tools and we're on our way now again to the unit. Go again, fit it in everything. Fucking hell, I can't wait until the car starts up and can handle like the heat and everything. Oh, let's go. So this is fucking taking long. We went and bought an oil filter and new spark plugs. And until I went to do that, what have you done? Finish it, bro. It's ready. 
So you, you put on the new turbo, yeah? Yep. And you took off the coil packs and the spark plugs, fitted every pipe on, and what, what else is it that we need to do now? So I tried to put some coolant on it again, but is that Yeah. <laughs> right, as yeah. we can see, coolant is still leaking, yeah? Yeah. Underneath it? Yeah, yeah. But I don't know if it's leaking anymore. Mm. Right. So now... Uh, we have to put oil on it again, because we took it out, and that oil was dead as well. So, put that... Take the air off here from the high fuel pressure pump. High pressure fuel pump, yeah? Yeah, that. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna plug the battery in again. We're gonna try put it on without the spark plugs. Because a good friend of mine said to me to try it because he needs to take out some, like the old stuff was there. And then we're gonna put the new spark plugs in, call box again, and. Something, something you forget to mention is that we're gonna take out um, a diagnostic and clear all the codes before we're trying to put it in and we also have a slight little bit of an issue so what's happening uh, i fit the new turbo but the deep cut looks like it's bigger i can't fit it in i tried it so many ways i've been trying it for an hour because the deep cut is a bit bigger it's not going to go into the turbo so so we'll probably need a new deep cut as well but obviously we're going to try to start the engine now see if we get any more, any more issues but that means that we need a new decal for the S3, which just takes long. How long is the car being parked in here for? <laughs> so how long how long is the car being parked here for? Hey, this garage. Yeah, in the garage. It's been a week. I think it's been a week, yeah. And it's been a week over the first episode as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well obviously we started up the car, we've done some progress on it. But right now, uh, with the spark plugs and the uh, oil filter as well, it costed us another 70 quid which is another 70 quid added up to the price. And now we're gonna buy some oil um, for the engine as well before we try to put it in, which is gonna be definitely another 30 pounds. So that's another 100 quid on it. So we still don't know if we're gonna make any profit on it, right? Yeah, we're still gonna. Because I think, I think it costed us now 2.7 grand. Yeah, but still got an S3 for Yeah, you still got an S3 for 1.8 grand in there. So anyways, you fit it in the intake as well. Ooh, didn't even see that, you know. Seen it. <laughs> Topping up the fuel once again, and the uh, fuel costs us another 50 pounds. So, just so you know, how much it? Huh? Oh, yeah, fuck you know. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> we're ready, right? Okay, tell me when you're ready. Yeah, let's see. Uh, we just fitted in the battery of the C class. Then should should go fine. Let's go. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Okay, so now we put again the new but the battery of the C class and we charging up with a TT. So let's give it another try. Nope, still the same. Uh, right, so. We replaced another start tomorrow, put the battery back in, and let's give it another try. <sighs> Nothing, not even a crunk. Let's give it another try. <sighs> We're getting closer though. So after two weeks that the car's been started, started in here, yeah, we replaced fucking three starter motors, three batteries, a new turbo, a high pressure fuel pump, all this work, yeah, and we think now it's the time that it should start up, yeah, it should start up now. We're plugged it in with the Ultimate A4, we got a little buddy here working out, good boy, and we're ready to go. Connecting the coil packs. <clears throat> Last one. And we're ready to go? Yeah. Alright, let's give it a try. <laughs> Please!
<laughs> yes! Right, so people, oof, it's been a rough uh, week and a half, I think, that I've been working with the S3 with my cousin. So just uh, before we close down the video, we managed to start it up. The S3 is starting up, it's working. The engine is not seized and it's not knocking, it's not knocking sound, no nothing, okay? Uh, after that video, we started it up again and it seems like it, it can stay like uh, on, it stays on, so it's all good. We just need to plug in the new Dika. We found out that the Dika that we had, basically, basically the turbo that we got, we got is from a Seat Leon Cupra, which is a four wheel drive and apparently the Dika, because the S3 is a four wheel drive Dika, I didn't know there's a difference, but apparently there is a difference. So now we need a new Dika as well. And also we need to plug in the intercooler, all the coolant pipes as well to let it run on the uh, heat um, before, before we start up the car properly. And it seems like the car is misfiring as well, but uh, in the next episode, we're gonna run some codes of the S3, uh, put the new Dika in, um, put all of the pipes in the intercooler and take it for our first test drive. So uh, make sure you stay tuned up and uh, like and subscribe on the video to help me create more videos like that. Peace. Thank you.